Good evening, everybody. Temperatures are a big story the next couple of days. Last week it was the snow. This week it's going to be the temperature. So here we go. Take a look at highs today. 20 in Paris, 24 in Terre Haute, and only 20 in Vincennes. There's a lot of snow on the ground. I mean, we're just like living in a big ice box right now. So it's going to stay cold for several days until we get daytime highs into the 30s. And we don't do that until the weekend. So these numbers here are about 10 degrees or so below average. So it's going to be cold out there. 24 your high today. We're half that now at 12. <laughs> That's it outside right now. Bloomington's at nine. Overnight lows will not get a lot colder. We're expecting lows to be about 10 degrees and we're almost there in Terre Haute. You're already there in Bloomington and we're real close elsewhere. And with the winds that are relatively calm to maybe five to 10 miles per hour, those winds are going to bring those wind chills down, as you know, down to two in Paris. And so no matter what the actual temperature is, whether it's 10 or whether it's 12 or whether it's seven, you factor in that wind chill and it's going to bring it down to about zero. So just be ready for a cold start to the day tomorrow. Some kids going back to school. Some of you started today. Some more are going to start tomorrow, but the next couple of mornings, they're going to be just cold outside. I'm watching this batch of clouds out here to the west. And as we talked earlier today, I mentioned they wouldn't bring much snow here by any means. It'd be northern Illinois or Indiana that would see that. We've got a few clouds, but experience has taught me that it's cold enough. We're going to see a chance for a few snow flurries anytime that we've got clouds during the early morning hours tomorrow or during the day tomorrow. But we're not, we're not going to see any new amounts. We're not going to create any new slick, slick spots from this. We're just going to see a chance for a few snow flurries anytime you've got clouds. But we're also anticipating a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, believe it or not, when those clouds move out. We'll stop things at 7 a.m. We mentioned temperatures near 10 degrees. And again, we're trying to get there now and we're close to that. We're going to find morning lows, single digits to the east, barely above that out to the west, 10s and 11s outside. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, you'll see this clock go into the afternoon. Well, we get into a little sunshine, kind of like today. But we also had some clouds today and tomorrow those clouds may give you a snow flurry or two. Other than that, Temperatures still struggling to get to where they should be. We're only going to top out in the upper 20s for Thursday afternoon. We'll check one more morning for you. That's Friday morning. Some kids again going back to school there near 10 degrees yet once again. That's 7 a.m. on Friday. And from 9s and 10s, we're going to go up to 10s and 11s. So just 1 or 2 degrees warmer Friday morning than what you're going to experience tomorrow morning. So by all means, just be prepared for a couple cold starts. More sunshine on Friday. Temperatures upper 20s there. So tonight down to 10. It's just cold. Wind chills when the wind's blowing near zero, so rather cold with increasing clouds. Snow flurries are possible tomorrow, but for the most part, we're doing partly cloudy in 29, 11 degrees tomorrow night, cold overnights. That's what we've got. And your seven day forecast does not get temperatures above 32 degrees until the weekend. And I got to be honest with you, it's not promising on Saturday to see that high of 34, Patrice. 34. Okay, that's above freezing, but we got to think about this. It's going to do that for probably two hours. 